This is a talk focus for Frico Talks to News on Tuesday, June 2nd, 2020. Our top focus today, Somaliland seeks international recognition of self-rule. And I think I'm going to keep this one a little bit relatively short because I went a little long in the other ones. So I don't want to, I'm going to try and keep these shows under two hours. I'm already going to be cutting it as far as the ability to do that. But. Uh, so I won't go down some of the rabbit holes probably that I would want to. Otherwise, it would make this at least a 20-minute segment. Let's get this 12 minutes or less. Let's do this, ladies and gentlemen. Somaliland seeks international recognition of self-rule. The semi-stateless autonomous region self-described as Somaliland is once again seeking international legitimacy of its sovereignty in an ongoing effort to beat back the constant efforts by the state of Somalia to reabsorb Somaliland into its jurisdiction. And I chose to use a zero instead of a, of a O for reasons, I guess. I have no idea why Fat Finger did that, but Fat Finger... Oh, I know. The zero and the O are right next to each other on the keyboard here, folks. If we could show that on the camera here. Stan, if we could get that on the camera here. Blah, blah, let's just close in. You know what? Frank, Frank might be the best guy. You see it there? I can't point it out there, but there you can. You can see the problem. Boy, boy, you see that keyboard, by the way. A well-worn keyboard. I got to get a new keyboard soon because this one's getting issues. And I have pounded the poop out of it. If it had poop in it, it does not anymore because I pounded it out. So Somaliland is pursuing its case through an international court procedure with an end goal of gaining international legal protections from efforts by others to undermine its sovereignty. Let this, let get this image a little closer or bigger. Why aren't you getting bigger for me? Okay, it's not getting bigger for me. I don't know why. What's going on? I'm a little confused. I'm a little hurt. I'm a little dejected right now because my plan to zero in on the image has not worked. Let me just see. All right, so I guess you can see a little bit better there. There you go. You see? There's Somaliland. This is where's uh, is there is there a scale? So this is kilometers. So kilometers. That's 80 kilometers. I think that might be roughly. I don't know. I I may be way off of like maybe 50 miles. So 50 miles space basically. 50 miles is about that. Yeah. Ah, so that's about 100 miles. So that's about 200 miles. About three. Uh, this is about 350 or so miles long and roughly at its longest here. I mean, at its shortest here, it's it's less than, oh, it's maybe 50 miles here. It's less than 50 miles wide. So that's, that's, that's Somaliland to give you a sense of scale. So 50 miles is uh, Philadelphia to New York is maybe 90 miles, something like that. So that gives you a little sense of the, the scale there that's what we're dealing with that's this that's that's the scale of the enterprise that we're dealing with so it's a it's a small little i don't know why my my wheel thingy of zooming in and out is not working but i'm very upset very upset somaliland to take case this is from busyweek.com somaliland to take case for self-determination to international court somaliland is upping its pressure on the international community to grant its recognition in her, in her for self-determination President Musebihi, in his virtual speech to the nation during the 29th anniversary since separating with Somalia, said not even the coronavirus could stop Somalilanders in different countries from celebrating this country's independence. B, he said Somaliland is ready to take its case to the international court if the dialogue will not achieve the desired result. Somaliland, a former British protectorate, joined with Somalia on July 1, 1960. Five days after gaining independence from the British on June 26th, but on May 19th, 1991, Somaliland said, Peace. We Audi. Audi 6000, son. They seceded from the Union after the start of Civil War and declared its independence from Somalia. The secessionists. This independence is not recognized by the international community because the international... Well, never mind. See, I'm not doing it who continued to refer to Somaliland as a region of Somalia. A constitutional referendum was held in Somaliland on 31 May 20, 2001. 
that affirm the country's independence from Somalia, at least the will of the people to be independent from Somalia as a separate state, has done little to convince the international community to work with it as a state. And on Monday, President Behe said Somaliland will now take a different approach in the quest for self-determination of dialogue with its erstwhile partner flops. The only agenda that can bring Somaliland and Somalia to a negotiating table is one based on two countries talking mutual interest and good neighborly relations. Somalia and anybody else who wishes to mediate between the two of us should accept the inalienable, undeniable reality of a sovereign Somaliland talking with a sovereign Somalia on issues that foster brotherly relations, our people, and the region. In other words, we is what we is. We is a we is a nation state. We is a nation state. Nation state proclamation. There you go, Somaliland. And now they're going to the courts and saying, dude, you gotta listen, listen, look at us. This is so what they're gonna do is essentially show that in 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 all of the ways in which you assume sovereignty and demonstrate sovereignty we have done so look at our land look at our education system look at our people look at our laws uh someday soon i'm probably going to go into a, a detail about some of the i don't want to get into it now but some of the ethical constructs that the somalian that these these particular folks of somaliland have these these traditions to go back centuries a lot of anarchists look at these types of traditions as some of them claim that there's anarchy and i don't see somaliland as being a stateless governing model i see it still essentially as within the coercive enterprise governance model but i see it as one that exists in a model that uh it it, it does kind of exist some in in most of the ways in which its governance decisions are made it's still largely in consensual building type of forms is what i'll say at least the way that i understand it but i'm not going to get too much into it i have to also because i want to make sure before i speak about it like i i looked into this a long time ago by a long time ago i mean maybe two years ago I looked into it before that, maybe another two or three years ago. It's, a, it's something that I keep coming back to, but I never stayed long enough to really get it firmly, all the details and the names and all that in my head. So I'm like, until I go and review it again, I'm not going to speak on it. So I, I will review it again, and then I'll share it with you guys. But this is one of the reasons why Somaliland attracts me so much, why I, I follow what's going on there, because it is one of those places that is stretching the bounds, and it has... I would see of all of the places that I follow that have some degree of this type of consensuality built into their governance models that are significantly departed from the folks around them. Catalonia is another instance, another place that I'm following. I, I would say Somaliland has the best opportunity to actually be recognized as a legitimate state. In part, I think because it is closest to an actual it's not as fundamentally disavowing of the coercive enterprise governance model as say rojava would be if that was successful if rojava was ever successful and you had people thriving and living high standards of living in in their type of radically in 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 most elements of their lives i don't even view them as being completely consensual in nature i believe they have some I think maybe in large part because of the folks that are part of the project, they're, it's hard to undo the heuristic institutions of course of enterprise governance within us, even when we come to intellectually not favored anymore. But on the main, Rojavans would, would be a radical disavowal of consensual enterprise governance models if it was successful, much more so than Somaliland would be. So I think that's in part why they have a better chance i also think in part it's because they've made a couple of deals with some folks and i'll get into that as well in future shows but they've made they they have got they've gotten some recognition and some and at what price i'm not sure i don't know that they might end up on the wrong side of some of these deals that they may be trying to make right now but yeah i think i think soon i'm gonna have to do this special on somaliland and it might be, it'll be a dialectical, probably on a Monday show. I might even do a Monday show. I, I thought about this. I might sometimes do a Monday show that is just 
It might just be one topic. I, this might be that type of show where I just all four segments of the Monday show are going to be on that one topic. I might do that because this would certainly warrant it. And I'm sure that a lot of my folks that are watching or listening other than if Somalilanders find this. By the way, if you're a Somalilander and you happen to find this, give me a shout out. And if you're ever interested in doing an interview, especially if you live in Solomon, Somaliland, I would love to do an interview. I would do a pre-recorded interview. That would be something I would share as a standalone. And I may show a segment of it on the show. So with that in mind, um, I think we'll just continue on with. Oh, that's right. I, I got to the end of this. I don't have anything more to read. So there you go. I think with that, we will end this segment with the note that more is to come. Somaliland is a place that is really, really worth. Oh, again, Somalilander. I want to interview you if you'd be interested in doing it as long as you're I, I, I only know English. So as long as your English is to the level that I can understand, if you're, I think most Somalilanders, I think bilingualism in many places is, 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 is kind of uh, prevailing. So if, if you, you may very well speak English better than me, but that would be the only condition. As long as you know English well enough that I can understand you, then come on the show and let's talk. I'm going to ask you some basic questions about Somaliland and maybe some of, some of the stuff, some of your ethical constructs that you folks have quite quite cool stuff really 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 cool stuff so if you are a somalilander let me know and then i will leave a comment to you i'll leave i'll, I'll you can email me also you can email i guess i'll give you one of the administrative accounts that i use that is pg newser p as in paul g as in gordon that's one of one of the names that uh emerges from the head of Paul Gordon Collier, which is also a head that I emerged from, me freaking. So, pgnewser at gmail.com. And give me the deets, and we'll see if we can connect. Uh, maybe we'll do a Discord show or just have your audio. We'll see. But I'd love to have a Somalilander on here to talk about that. That would be a Monday show in and of itself if, if, if the Somalilander wanted to speak for more than 10, 15 minutes. With that in mind, I'm going to end this segment. Coming up next is our break. But after the break is going to be the talk feature, which will be emerging villains and angels in your safety during this season's riots. That's going to be an interesting talk feature for when I get to, the, to that on the other side of the break. But before I go to break, I want to make a mention of PioneeringNews.com, which is where I get some of the links. These sites are all run by me that I that I cite here, including pioneeringnews.com. These, well, well, just the news aggregate sites, not the links. The links themselves are not to my site. These are just the links. So pioneeringnews.com, tech, science, underground news. If you go there today, you would see at the top, artificial intelligence just got emotional. The UN Security Council's a faltering stance on self-determination in Western Sahara. A trial is underway of the first new antibody medicine developed to treat coronavirus. Japanese scientists unveil nuclear periodic table of elements. Two years in prison for gay sex in Turkmenistan. Zhang Zhang vice chairman faces anti-graft investigation. Aquaponics market will make a huge impact in the near future. Now, I don't, I haven't looked detailed into this story yet, but if it, if it's interesting, you may end up hearing more about this one. Uh, a machine learning mortality prediction outperforms other models in 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 COPD. This from all right. I'll end it at that. <laughs> 